And welcome back, this is Baller Scooper with another episode of Let's Play the Seven Saga. As always, I'm joined by Necro and his trusty companion, Valsu. Necro did reach level 35. He equipped that sword, somehow unequipping his claw, I believe it was. I have reached the 200,000 gold mark, and good lord, look at those stats. That is awesome. Valsu, eh, 33, almost 34. I did stock up on items, so you can see herbs, potions, magic waters, uh, bottles of agility, vacuums, harps. Could use a few more, but not too many enemies are using that effectively. And mirrors, I will definitely need mirrors, and you can see that since it's at the bottom, I did have to get all nine of them. So we are heading from north from the town of Quanta, and we are headed north and west going towards the Cave of Silence. Hopefully we'll be able to find the Moonlight without too much trouble so we can get this curse off of us. This curse of course being that we can't use magic. Well, Valsu can't use magic. I never used Necro for magic anyways. So here we are in the cave and there is a lot of treasure. Um, this way. Far right! is always right, except that case when it was wrong. Um, okay, those were very weak enemies. Um, these go to the same place, don't they? Yeah, definitely, the game has made it easier. Yeah, this is just the way it went. The game has ramped down the difficulty, I'll be honest, this is very, very easy. Yeah, the, it's definitely been a ramp down difficulty, and I guess in anticipation that I won't be able to do anything without magic. I'm doing fine without it. Get a B power out of that chest. That's that's all that's through this cave, apparently. This little door. So let's go north. I choose you, north. How weak are the how weak are the enemies here? In this last one, I I fought three of the same enemy and two of them ran off. Get another topaz. This oh, so many topazes. Get another chest here. Fight first, though. Why do you hate me, game? What did I do to you? Uh, Valsu did level up to level 34, and as a result, he's learned the Revive 2 spell. Based on what I know about RPGs, I assume a Revive 2 spell heals somebody up to full. Actually, you know, that I think about it, the regular Revive spell. So the only upgrades I can think are that it either... There's nothing over here is possibly that it has a higher accuracy or it also heals MP as well. But I don't know because I can't use magic right now and nobody's dead anyways. What am I doing? I want to go south. Get that last treasure chest here. Get a bee fossil. Nothing that way. So now we can go north. Okay, I just got in a battle with two man rots. I know you guys probably don't remember what a man rot is, but Valsu one-shotted it. That's all you need to know. This is an easy dungeon. Whoever told me to level up for this must not have known what he was talking about. Of course, you know, now that I said that, there's going to be a huge enemy boss fight at the end of this. Alright, so what have we got in here? Magic water. Probably won't be used. And, um, let's go in here. Find out what's going on. Okay. Oh, this looks like it's complicated. Hopefully I didn't miss any treasure and this is not like the exit, but it does look like it is. Um, I s come on, right, thank you. If I get to the end and I haven't gotten all the treasure, I'll go back and get it for you guys. I do want to show all the treasure! Uh oh, this does look like... The exit! Awesome! The exit! I found it, you guys! It's so right there and so nowhere I'm going. Dude. I gotten lost again. Okay. This way. That one I was not expecting to be the end. I thought that, or the entrance. I th actually legitimately thought it was the end of the dungeon. If you want me to know where I'm supposed to go, leave some kind of marker or something. You know, change the, ugh, the awful, awful sprites here. Okay, where are we going? Let's go north, because I'm pretty sure that's the way. Okay, in we go. 
And don't get turned around this time. Let's go east and north-ish. Okay, we went this way. Let's not go this way. More man rots? Really? I mean, when I say that, Valku, Valsu one-shots them. I don't mean like with the moon rune, or... I don't mean defend and then attack one shot. I mean Valsu attack one shot in. Hopefully I have not gone this way and this is the right way to go. Let's go up the right path this time. Okay, looks like we're in a new area because I don't recognize this at all. That's not surprising. We could be at the entrance and I wouldn't even know. Uh, still avoid the enemies somewhat. Alright, let's go to the right. And yes, treasure chest. Get a shield destroy. I guess that's useful if, as long as I don't have magic that shield destroy. But there aren't any enemies here that are strong enough for me to want to use it on. A B protects? You know, once again, useless. I have a rune for that now. You know, what's the point of that? Alright, moving on. What the hell? Oh no, awful scary music! Necro's Grave! You know what, I'm gonna take this opportunity to take a quick pause break, give me just one second. Alright, so I've got a little bit of time here, let's see if I can make it to... Oh, what, what, what the hell does this say? Oh, don't tell me. Oh, oh, don't be. Don't be. It is. Oh my gosh, it's Pison again. And he's Mecha Pison! It's like Godzilla! And it's always harder when the, the metal one comes at you. And once again, he's got the power of evil behind him. But we've got the power of the runes, so I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to win this one pretty easily. Hopefully. Start with the uh, moon rune on Necro. Let's go for star rune on Necro, just because I want him to live as long as possible. He's going to be pretty much the only guy doing attacks here. Star rune on Valsu. Also, of course, this takes way too long. Dude, go ahead, steal my MP. What, what do I care? Go for the defend. You know what? Let's start using some of those balls of agility. Uh, let's go on Necro first. He already has a ton of agility. Speed 30 up! Oh no, whatever shall I do? Ah, it didn't work anyways. Attack! Oh, this is going to take forever. Alright, uh, let's go for a moon rune on Valsu. Because why not? Didn't work. Defend. What else can I use here? Uh, Light Rune on Necro. He needs some help with his magic. Magic up 40. 385. Um, let's go for another Bottle of Agility this time on Valsu. That way he can dodge more awesomely than he already does. Uh, defend. That did pretty much nothing. Let's heal it up anyways because Valsu can't do squat to this guy pretty much. Uh, attack? Yeah! Oh, douche. Uh, what else can I do? Light rune on Valsu. Let's get as many buffs up as I can. Can defend. Defend. Attack! Ugh, this is gonna take forever. You can go ahead and keep missing for, with that for all I care. Defend. Defend. Just keeps missing. Attack. Attack. Defend. I did mention it in my StarCraft 2 commentary, I did lose the footage of this fight the first time that I fought him. Trust me, it's going a lot better this time, at least so far. And so I'm doing a quick recording and... 
What the hell, dude? What the hell? Did I use the moon rune on Valsu? I don't think I did. Yeah, no, apparently I did. And he just sucked. Okay, that's definitely a rule that definitely, I don't know if it is part of RPG lore or what, but it definitely should be. Bosses cannot have full heal spells. Ever. What the hell? That did a ton of damage. Water rune on Valsu did... Do runes wear off? I don't think they do. Did he actually hit with one of those one of those times? Did I defend? That looks like I did. Alright, Valsu. Put a star rune back on him just in case. Uh, as soon as I get him back up to full health. Alright, let's try the star rune again on Valsu. Yeah, he's already healed up, man. This guy does a massive amount of damage. He also has a ton of MP. So this is why I need to level up to fight this guy, because this is taking for freaking ever. Ah, only 28 that time. So I can get 88 damage done! You know, 88 damage better than nothing. Uh, let's go for the water in this time. Oh, that ball of agility is really working all well for us. Did I defend Necro twice? Eh, yeah, whatever. So defend, defend. Whatever, go for the attack anyways. If he does the full heal thing again, I'm going to be so fucking pissed. Water on Valsu. Oh, so close. Alright, Water Rune on Necro. I mean, this isn't even a hard fight, really. It's just taking forever. Defend, defend. Whatever. Attack. And Valsu earns the finishing blow. Mecha Python lost. Wait, isn't that the same golden experience that he gave me last time? That's a jip. Whatever. Okay. And if we search here, of course, there's there's nothing there. Oh. Alright, give me one second. Alright, it does look like I'm out of time, so I will see you guys next time on Let's Play The Seven Saga, where we will finish out what is left of the Cave of Silence. I assume it's silent because nobody's doing any magic around here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed, hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.